Hey everybody, Steve Cook with Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com. Today we have a new toy. It is the Bass Whammy from Digitech. And uh, as you can hear, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, the original Bass Whammy from Digitech came out a number of years ago. They're now highly prized collector's items. So Digitech reissued the Whammy pedal. And uh, what they did was they included circuitry from the original. And then they used better circuitry because we're 30 years past the last one and uh and they've improved on it and what they've done is they've improved the tracking algorithm and uh and therefore you don't get those uh sort of anomalies when you get into different effects and different pitch bends the um the chassis is solid steel it's very rugged you have a midi control out so if you want to control this uh with a, a different controller or foot pedal than you can uh, you've got this center wheel right here, which sort of runs the show for you and can scroll through the 21 different tonal selections, or I should say pitch and whammy selections. Um, although there are some tone things on here as well. And uh, again, on off switch, in and outs, and it comes with the uh, very handy quick start guide, which is three steps. Very simple, very easy. And, uh, and true bypass, and, uh, and this is just a lot of fun. Today's signal chain is very simple. We are using the Fender Dimension 4 bass into the Digitech bass whammy, running that through the Aguilar Tone Hammer 350. Coming out of the DI on the 350, go into Pro Tools. The Aguilar S112 cab is mic'd by a Royer R121 microphone, also going to Pro Tools. So I'm gonna scroll you through some of the effects, and I'm gonna scroll you through some of the, uh, the practical uses for this thing. So one side of it is the harmony side, one side is the whammy side. And starting on the whammy side, and this is a little difficult because I don't have it on the floor, but you can see right here um, that it's labeled, you know, two octaves up, one octave up, a fifth up, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So for example, it'll, it'll take your original tone, open G, and then scroll it up and down two octaves. Go to one octave up. We start getting into some interesting places with the fifths. And you can start doing some chordal bends. Seconds. And then go down. Had this great little dive bomb feature on here, so it's like the tape stopped. Then you have a detune mode, which will go into, it's sort of like a chorus thing going on. So you've got the deep mode. And we'll switch to shallow, which has a more, a more traditional chorus feel to it. Then we'll switch over here to the harmony side. And the harmony side gets very interesting because then you start maintaining the initial note as well as possibilities on both sides of your cradle. So you've got, on say on this bottom one, you've got, if you go down, it's a fourth, up is a third. Bunch of possibilities. So you've got a fifth, and octaves. So you're basically holding one note, and then it's almost like you're pitch bending the entire way. One of the more interesting ones for me is uh, is up a tenth. And 
this one, the last one. Is you're scrolling complete octaves. And now that's on the new algorithm. The old one, the classic, you can hear it's got a little bit of... doesn't track quite as well. The new one definitely tracks better. It's a lot smoother. So where this can come in handy is if you're, uh, you take this and pair it up with maybe a distortion pedal and all of a sudden you're playing some crazy guitar riffs, you're playing some, uh, some crazy stuff not in maybe your normal octave range. Uh, then you can shift this over on the other side and if you need an on-demand octave pedal for one down or you can come over here and go one up for one down all with the flick of your ankle so I'm happy to report that Digitech has reintroduced the bass whammy to make it more accessible for everybody. The vintage pedals are going for a premium, and so this puts it in everybody's hands. You can use this to expand your vocabulary, your musical vocabulary, and come up with a wide range of different sounds, and uh, you will be occupied for days um, shifting through what they have going on here. Well made, sounds great. The new technology tracks a whole lot better than the old. Uh, which makes it actually better than the vintage stuff. So um, again, a lot of fun. So check this out if you have a chance. My name is Steve Cook with Premier Guitar, premierguitar.com. Premier Guitar also has a YouTube channel to which you should subscribe and, uh, and check out lots more demos just like this one. See you soon. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.